Okay, some more examples for us to work through with simple logic here. In the first one, it's a conditional statement. It's an if-then statement. And we start with if owls fly, that's P. Then pigs fly, which is Q. So we started with P, which is true, and ended with a false statement. Well, then overall, this is not a correct statement, right? You're saying here, if owls fly, well, then pigs fly. Well, owls do fly, but, but pigs don't. So what you said here is false. Remember, with a conditional, if you start with the true part of the statement, that should imply the second. But if the second's false or not following from the first, then overall, it's a correct, incorrect implication, and it is false. Here... However, notice this time it's another conditional statement, but it says if owls use cell phones, which is P, then pigs fly, which is then Q. So P, then Q. As far as I know, owls cannot use cell phones. So that's a false statement. So then we're saying, well, if that's false, then our second statement is also false. What do we think about this statement? Well, again, if-then statements are all about implication. Um, when we start with an imaginary statement like this, well, in this world, I guess, this, we're making this up with a false statement, if owls use cell phones, then pigs fly. That could be true. We can't prove it wrong because we don't know what the implication of owls using cell phones really is. Right? We don't know what this first statement implies. It could imply then that pigs do fly. So in fact, we call this a true statement. So with conditional statements, if we start and end with a false, or start with a false in general, then our statement is true, regardless if what we finish with is true or false. So here's another one. If the earth is flat, that's our P statement, then dogs bark. Well, just to, to, to verify, well, P then Q. Well, here, the Earth is not flat. That's false. But we know dogs do bark. So it's a false then true, right? Is this true? Yeah, sure, it could be. Um, we can't say it's false. Uh, we don't know what it means if the Earth is flat and, and how that implies that dogs do bark. But we, don't, but we do know that, that it's possible because we have it set out from the start what to do if we start with a, with a false or made-up statement, right? Um, so, so with a conditional, if we start with a false, right, overall, the statement should be true. Here, let's look at our options. It says, if blank, then coffee can be served hot. Well, coffee can be served hot, so that's Q, and that's true. So since we're finishing with a true, um, what should we start with? Well, we have to start with a true statement. We can't, well, we could start with a false statement, I guess, as long as we're finishing with the true. Sorry about that. Um, so what are our options here? Well, negative 3 minus 2, that's negative 5, and 4 minus negative 9 is 13. Those are both true statements. So either of these could be inserted here to make an overall conditional or true statement. In fact, even if you saw something here which says, like, 1 plus 3 equals 20, which is incorrect, well, that would still be an overall true statement. As long as we start with a false statement, we can this, the overall statement itself will be true. And if you want to go back and check out why that makes sense, I, I did try and explain it in, in former videos. It's just about the idea of implication. Uh, you start off with a, a true statement. Something implies something else. Well, if you don't start off with something that's true, we don't know what it will imply. So we can't prove it false, and therefore we say, yeah, this is true. All right, hope that helped.